The best things to do in Bataya include attractions that range from ancient Thai traditions to modern adventures. This area on Thailand's eastern seaboard is where you can find the simple pleasures of the nation's most lively party street or be humbled by unique religious treasures. Explore nature, art, science, and culture in ways you would never have imagined. Enjoy the raw beauty of the rainforest canopy or the glitz and glamour of the cabaret stage. Our list of the best attractions in Pattaya is just a sample of the amazing variety you can find in the area. These are the absolute must-see features that every itinerary for every visitor should include. Many of the items on our list are unique in Thailand, while some are simply unequaled in the entire world. Pattaya has drawn tourists and expats from all over the world ever since U.S. soldiers discovered the once sleepy getaway destination during the Vietnam War. Since then, Pattaya's profile has steadily increased, and it is now one of the most popular beach destinations in Southeast Asia. In this video, we are going to talk about best things to do in Pattaya. Let's get started. 10 Art in Paradise Art in Paradise is an interactive 3D art museum in Pattaya that takes the traditional assumptions of what an art gallery should be and completely ignores them. Instead, the art is brought to life and the visitors can become part of it through the use of optical illusions and playing with perspective. Stand in the right position and take a picture from the right angle, all of which are clearly marked out for you. And it looks like you are flying a magic carpet over the desert, crossing a rickety bridge in the jungle, swimming with dolphins in the ocean, or putting the finishing touches to famous masterpieces. 9. Coral Island Coral Island of Pattaya offers a blue sea and a long stretch of pristine beach void of high-rise buildings and away from the claws of civilization. Known as Koh Lan or Larn Island, it's the hub of a series of similarly idyllic little islands known as the Near Islands, being near to Pattaya. It's the only one with any significant development like roads, restaurants, and shops. This little piece of paradise beyond the hustle and bustle of the city is situated 7.5 kilometers west of Pattaya Beach. It has long been an alternative retreat for those who have become jaded with Pattaya's overdeveloped and overcrowded beaches. Since the island is not so far away, visitors can easily go there in the morning, stay for a couple of hours, and then come back to Pattaya Beach in the late afternoon. You can take the ferry to Koh Lan or a speedboat to any of the islands around it from Pattaya's Bali High Pier. 8. Pattaya Viewpoint Pattaya Viewpoint, also known as Khao Pattaya Viewpoint on Pratumnak Hill, is the best viewpoint in the region. It's the place to visit day or night to get that classic shot of Pattaya's sweeping crescent-shaped bay. Be warned though, this is anything but an insider's tip, so expect to share your view with an almost ceaseless flow of package tours and the local traders who follow them touting cheap souvenirs and expensive refreshments. This might sound off-putting, but the reality is tours will usually stop for 10 to 15 minutes, and once they have been called back to the bus, the viewpoint becomes quiet and peaceful, perfect for enjoying the stunning scenery. 7. Pattaya Water Parks Pattaya Water Parks are among the best things to do in Pattaya for families. Pattaya is home to a choice of outstanding water parks, including the largest in all of Thailand, with dozens of slides and rides between them. The biggest and best, including Ramayana Water Park and Columbia Pictures Aquaverse, formerly Cartoon Network Amazon Water Park, are located just about 20 minutes away from Pattaya City. Each park has on-site restaurants and a range of helpful facilities for families. 6. Big Buddha Temple The so-called Big Buddha Temple of Pattaya certainly deserves its name, being the biggest in the region at 18 meters in height. Positioned nearly 100 meters above sea level, the statue watches over Pattaya and Jonchen beaches from its position on the hill dividing both. Known locally as Wat Phrakal Yai, the temple complex around the highly detailed golden seated Buddha creates a reflective mood in its many visitors. Thanks to its many bells, burning incense, numerous smaller statues, and impressive views over the area. Not just a tourist attraction, the site is an active temple, with locals frequently visiting to pray. 5. Pattaya Floating Market Pattaya Floating Market, also known by its true name, Four Regions Floating Market, is one of the best things to do in Pattaya. The subsections of this 10-hectare development represent the four major areas of Thailand, the north, northeast, central, and south. This representation comes in the form of shops and stalls selling souvenirs, fruits, 
food, art, handicrafts, postcards, and clothing, as well as regular cultural shows and demonstrations. Some of the 114 vendors do indeed float, selling their wares from traditional boats and canoes. The rest are built into a sturdy, stilted village, with covered walkways and stout bridges connecting them. 4. Nang Nuch Tropical Garden Nang Nuch Tropical Garden in Pattaya features over 200 hectares of landscape spaces, bursting with tropical colors. It has some of the most remarkable flowers, displays, and landscaped gardens in Thailand, if not the world. The team behind the gardens have repeatedly won international awards for their designs, which include 17th-century French-style gardens, a recreation of Stonehenge, creative topiary displays and gardens created exclusively with cacti, bonsais, and tropical palms. It is also the home of over 670 native and hybrid species of orchids. You can see regular displays of classic Thai dancing, boxing, and drumming during your visit to the gardens. The magnificent orchid garden will awaken the inner horticulturist in anyone. Live shows at the Thai Cultural Hall add to the lineup with performances of traditional Thai dancing, sword fighting, Thai kickboxing, and an elephant show of dubious ethical quality. 3. Tiffany's Show Pattaya Tiffany's Show Pattaya is a caberet show that takes place in a grand theater in North Pattaya. The theater has a huge Fogs Marble lobby that manages to be almost as spectacular as the dazzling costumes. Performers make their entrances dressed in everything from long sweeping ball gowns and plumes of feathers to elaborate headdresses and polka dot swimwear. A breathless hour-long riot of sound, color, and light ensues, a show that spans the entire hemisphere through song, dance, or skit. Scenes include a Bollywood musical take on the Indian Raj, a traditional Korean fan dance, a homage to China's imperial past and progress, Siam's history told through graceful Thai dance, Broadway show tunes, and slapstick burlesque. 2. Sanctuary of Truth The Sanctuary of Truth is a one-of-a-kind teak structure in Pattaya and a truly awe-inspiring monument to philosophical truth. It tells of the importance religion, philosophy, and art have played in human development and the folly of neglecting morality and spiritual contentment in the pursuit of materialism. In all, the complex is a beautiful and humbling demonstration of human endeavor and skill, particularly when you realize that none of the wood being used has been treated or chemically protected. This means that, as one section is completed, another has often succumbed to the tropical conditions and must be replaced. Every available space is intricately decorated with wooden carvings, and the entire structure was built to pay homage to ancient religions and philosophies. 1. Walking Street Walking Street in Pattaya City offers sights and sounds quite unlike anywhere else in Thailand. While Walking Street in most other towns and cities, try around Thailand usually means a regular street market, that's certainly not the case here. Indeed, there's almost nothing in the country that matches the 500 meters of fun found at the end of Pattaya's Beach Road, taking its name from the fact that it is closed to vehicle traffic after 6 p.m. Almost every building on both sides of the road, as well as many in the side streets around it, is a nightclub, bar, or restaurant, to the extent that the road is almost completely deserted during daylight hours as virtually everything is shut. At night, however, the road comes alive with neon lights, thumping music from different genres, food vendors, street performances, and partygoers from around the world. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this one, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our videos. We will meet you in the next videos.